Ecology, Ecosystems, and Populations. Ecosystem includes all of the abiotic and the biotic factors in one particular environment. The biotic factors, anything that's alive, um, anything that's living is biotic. Don't forget, bio means life in Latin. Abiotic factors are the non-living parts of an ecosystem. If you remember, A in Latin means without, bio means life, so abiotic by definition is without life. So the abiotic would be the water, the rocks, the soil, the air, the temperature. Those type things are abiotic, where the biotic would be, for example, the insects, the birds, the humans, biotic and abiotic. The ecosystem includes both the biotic and the abiotic. Again, biotic are living things, the plants, the animals, bacteria, fungus, protists. Abiotic means without life, so it's the non-living things. Water is not alive. Soil, air, minerals, and light. And it's true that the biotic cannot live without the abiotic, but that still doesn't mean the abiotic itself is alive. A species is a group of organisms living in an area that can breed and to produce fertile offspring. So if you see it in the top position, they cannot reproduce, therefore they cannot be in the same species. Where the pictures at the bottom can reproduce, so you, they are in the same species. Habitat is the place where a species lives and finds food. Niche or niche, depending on where you're from, is the role a species plays in habitat. For example, the predator is the one who does the hunting. The prey is the one who gets hunted. Scavenger, basically, they, they're eating uh, animals that have died. Parasites live in or on another organism but they all have their roles in an ecosystem. They all have their niche or niche. Here are the levels of organization. Don't forget that the organism is also called an individual and you only have one of them. So again, this in this particular picture, we have one bison all by himself. A population means more than one of the same kind. So we have a whole herd of bison. We have many of them in one picture. A community is different species in an area. So now we don't just have the bison, but we also have the grass. The grass is alive. We have snakes. We have hawks. We have prairie dogs. We have many species represented together in one community. Let's look at the ecosystem. The ecosystem is when you start getting the abiotic with the biotic. So an ecosystem would not only include all of those, but now we're including the rocks and the air, the soil, the water, the temperature, the sunlight, all of these abiotic factors with the previous biotic from the community would be the ecosystem. And of course the biosphere is anywhere on earth there's life in above earth in the air, below the earth in the soil, or on the earth itself. Anywhere there is life, it's the biosphere. In this picture here, you see an organism, which is an alligator, all by himself, representing his species. You could also say it's an individual. In the next picture over, we get into the population. We have several of the alligators, but still they're all in one species. And then when you get to the community, we go a little bit further out. Now we're including several species in one area. So we have all the different types of birds represented here. We have the fish. We have the, the turtle swimming. So we have many species represented in the community, but they're all living. The next category over will be the ecosystem. So now we introduce the abiotic. We introduce the air, the, the, the plants in this case, the, the water. So all of these together will be the ecosystem.
the living and the non-living, the biotic and the abiotic. And of course, this goes without uh, mention, the populations do change over time. Uh, organisms reproduce, predators sometimes come into an area that plays with the population and reduces the population. And sometimes the abiotic conditions change, maybe you're in a drought, and that would affect the biotic. So the abiotic does affect the biotic. So populations do change over time.